sheet number 3 ok I am asking you a question most of the people might have used the railways reservation system to book tickets what are the data individual piece of elements that the customer require you are the customer railways department is a customer right so what are the individual data that you look into the railways reservation system the entire system that you are using you can type individual data and then send it to me via chat data used in reservation system let me start one of the data is train number another data is train name okay and good I am seeing people sending information to open mentor via chat the individual data start flowing now class of travel correct names of passengers that's true date of journey from to seat or sleeper true right gender very good one person has mentioned doctor or not right that's perfect and then uh, age of the passenger correct right so these are the information that we provide now telephone number we provide once we provided these information system also provides some more information a PNR number right a unique identifier for that particular ticket correct coach number the system allocates a coach to you seat number system allocates a seat number correct and then date and time of booking that's perfect another person has mentioned status of ticket yes correct because confirmed or RAC or uh, wait list then RAC number or wait list number that's a different data right like this right S still I have not got one information from the people one data from the people that I was expecting okay one person has mentioned senior citizen or not okay that is fine then what else one information that I still expect but I have not got that nope yep let me tell that ticket amount right that's a data right ticket amount which is very very important the price we talked about everything but we happily forgot the price right how will the railways department yes only one person one person has entered that price that's good these are individual data if you are going to work either program or test a software the first and foremost thing whether you are a developer or a tester or the team lead or a project manager the first thing you must have is a group and that group if you know what data is going to be used in the system simply take an excel sheet let business analyst or someone in the team right enter all the data if you understand what each data means then half the battle is already won with respect to the database management system the very first thing is all the data that you are going to have must be just listed out as it is so take the railway reservation system now 
this is from the ticket reservation perspective now let me talk to you the other way also credit card number right then credit card credit card type credit card expiry date right then uh, credit card bank with respect to the payment credit card information and so identity ID information that means I can give my passport number or I can give my photo identity or I can give the voters ID number or driver's license number right all this information now of course called holder credit card holder name that's another information now I, I, I'm very happy because when I answer the when I give a clue people are sending more answers that means we are interacting one person has sent a question saying that can we talk yes lot of people are attending these webinars I can open up the mic for many people but it will be too much noise if so many people talk so I prefer or open mentor prefers people sending their information via chat so that the author or the teacher can read that and then inform uh, talking about those questions and then clarifying that's what we are doing otherwise it will become extremely noisy okay good thanks for understanding our concerns as well now I am giving you one more information suppose I do train inquiry right if I have to give train inquiry for each train for each train start station end station right and then uh, on what days days of train running right you could see this train runs only on Tuesdays this train does not run on Sunday something like that that is also information right okay so for each train I need to know start stations and then the route information right the route information this train station 1 is this station 2 is this station 3 is this along the route fare for train number A from station 1 to station 2 correct that is also information okay so all these information are extremely important when we are dealing with database management system so first thing we have to list all these data is this clear perfect many people raise the hands yes one person has mentioned start time stop time of every train at every station that's perfect that's very good rule number one is identify the data okay the moment you identify the data the second step the second step that you need to do is for each data associate a data type data type meaning it can be a number or it can be a text or it can be a date right number can be again an integer or a floating point text may be purely alphabetic or alphanumeric date of course you know right uh, right for each of them rule number one is identify individual data rule number two is for each data associate data type and data length okay very simple now I say type and length train number I say it's a number maximum length is four digits right train name it's a text length is 40 characters right class of travel it's a text it maximum three characters names of passengers it's a text 20 characters 
it's a date I think date always uses the eight digits from is a text ten characters to is a text ten characters seat or sleeper text is just one character so for each of the data right right for every data ensure you are associating type and length right the moment you say the type and length especially if you are going to have the money part right price part ticket amount I can say it's a number I can say five digits integer two digits decimal so you can for especially for numerals right in those cases correct you can give what is the integer portion what is the real portion now if you are able to associate this again we are making one more step for every data associate the type and the length is this simple technique clear to you all can you please raise the hand okay good someone has asked what do I have to solve my queries okay type the queries send it to us through chat if it is answerable in this we will definitely answer within the session otherwise you can always say send a mail to webinar at softsmith.com so there are lot of people from our organization and the unit when you send queries suppose uh, you have some issues you can ask this during the session we will try to answer if you do not get that answered over here you can send a query to webinar at softsmith.com so some of our people may try to answer that portion okay now <coughs> is the rule number two clear to you all cool now rule number three rule number three is group the data when you are doing something with respect to the database you have to group the data now let me insert one more sheet over here how do I group the data we already know right the reservation data is something and then train related data For, let me take train data I can say train number train name start station end station right days of running right so these are all the train data now I can always have another group root data for every root I need to have station A station B right number okay the number of the stations suppose I take Chennai to Trichy station 1 is Chennai station 2 is Chengalpet station 3 is uh, maybe Vilpuram something like that right grouping the data you need to think right there is no special rules for grouping the data very simple how the customer groups the data right customer creates a set of in data called deposit related data customer collects something called loan related data so you can get that information that itself acts as a group further and over and above that you can always have some more information which are system generated so you can group data like that I can always say credit card data it's a group now credit card data I can say credit card number credit card type credit card uh, code expiry date etc etc now if I am able to group the data into 10 data or 15 data or 20 data so I am having islands of data each island has a specific purpose 
like this any system you can take all the data then group the data and associate data type and length can you do this tomorrow just with this knowledge what I am asking you tomorrow if I give you uh, some information to you can you do these three rules let us say a travel site or I am going to give you a exercise you can try to do that and then send that file to webinar at softsmith.com as a case study a country's census data what data you need for the country for taking census and for electoral rolls what could be the ident um, suitable data type and length what could be the groups of data that you want to collect for census right rule number one identify all individual data rule number two provide data type and length for each of the data rule number three group the data can you do this as an exercise send it to our email ID that I have already sent to all the people that's an exercise okay good someone has asked a question what if the data is present in two groups let it be present put the data in two different groups to start with don't worry about at this point of time let it be present in two different areas fine for example account number will be present in deposit as well as in withdrawal let it be present let us create those groups for census electoral data for a country great now I will stop the session today now what you people can do is tomorrow we have a class Friday we don't have a class because many people have requested that they are leaving by train for Diwali so Friday there is no class but Monday we have a class okay so tomorrow also there is a class Friday there is no class Monday we have a class so we will meet tomorrow but whoever can finish the case study please finish it and then send it to us and uh, thanks for attending open mentors this initiative especially on Oracle webinars okay and uh, have a good night I will stop here we are planning to have nine sessions for Oracle at the end of the ninth session we would like to have you people having the confidence yes I can talk about Oracle for nine hours right that's exactly what we want good good night let me again repeat the motto of open mentor is the whole world can learn for free thank you all good night bye